Today I'm going to be showcasing the program for Pito, a self-employed plumber. Starting off with the top here, we can see the class here, containing the variables which are here, and the comment, basically this is where we first state these variables. Um, and then if we go to the main here, this is where we can see all the variables here with assigned values. This is basically where we um, assign a value to each variable as the comment says here. Then if we scroll down, uh, just below this, we can actually see where we set the outputs of the questions and the selected inputs that we'll ask after these. So these are just the questions and the amount of hours worked, amount of plastic, amount of copper, amount of chrome. And then it will, of course, after each one of these, ask for an input by the user. Then below this is where we tell the program how to calculate each variable. So uh, Mars is calculated. Sorry, um, Mars is calculated uh, by mark um, mile by variable by input one made by the user. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Mars input one, as we can see here. And finally, uh, we can actually see where I've set the program to output the final results as the comments is hit. Oop. Um, typo that, sorry. Uh, setting what the program outputs at the end of the program. So travel costs, Mars. You can just see these variables again. And then uh, this little bit at the end, sorry, just add a comment with that. Uh, is where it adds all of these and displays a total, so the total cost. Okay, now for the second part of the video, I'll be showing the user how to use the program. So easiest way to do this is first if you run the program, like so, and then just simply answer each, que each question as it prompts you. So enter amount of miles done. I'll just make something up. So 10 miles done. Hours worked five. Amount of plastic purchased. Um, eight copper, three chrome, six. And then as we can see, it then outputs um, each amount which is calculated and then as you can see the total, the total this will be the total cost of the job so in case i didn't go over this already here's how the system is getting these results so just below the name is the variables and as you can see these are the numbers in fact yeah i did uh, go through this but still um the, of course this is where you obviously set how much each variable is worth so miles is, well, is a pound a mile, labor 40 pounds an hour, plastic one pound per meter, copper, yeah, and so on. Um, and then of course you'll notice um, input going from one to five. This is just um, how many inputs are required by the user. So five questions. Uh, so that just basically goes through that. And then of course below this, as um, discussed before, um, this is where you, you basically set how to calculate each of these variables. So you're telling basically miles to multiply what you set here by um, what you've entered. Um, so yeah. And then of course, as I said before, this is where you basically Tell the system to output it, um, to output miles, and then this is, of course, what we, so we could literally change this if we wanted to, I don't know, um, total plastic cost or, you know, and then it would, it would say total plastic cost here. 